Welcome back to the Men of Victory Weekly Encouragement, where we're here to encourage you men, but to strengthen you and to help you and for that midweek pick me up that we need. Um, Sundays are awesome, but man, I need a little something during the week. This is your midweek caffeine espresso shot, whatever you want to call it, um, to hear from some amazing men in the church. And so this week, I'm excited because I got my great, great friend, Josh Van Duzer. Um, this guy is stinking amazing, and you're going to know why in here just in a couple minutes. So how long you guys have been attending the church? I've been going to Victory Life for about four years now. Four years, man. It just I, We were just talking about this earlier today, and it, I, was, I just said, you been here two years but four years mm -hmm. man i'm getting old guys i know it but man what's the one thing you like best about the men of victory uh just their excitement to be there every week and just yeah. dig deeper you know I've, I've attended a lot of churches and i've just never seen such a large group of men that are so committed to the re their relationship and personal walk with god so yeah man it, that is that is so true iron sharpens iron so one man sharpens another. We need each other, and you guys are going to need this encouragement this week. So grab your Bibles, grab your notebook, because you're about to hear an incredible word from this man, Josh Van Duzer, from the Men of Victory. All right, man. Today, this word I'm bringing to you is from uh, 1 Samuel, uh, starting on uh, verse 13. It says, Hannah was praying in her heart, and her lips were moving, but her voice was not heard. Eli thought she was drunk and said to her, how long are you going to stay drunk? Put away your wine. Not so, my lord, Hannah replied. I am a woman who is deeply troubled. I have not been drinking wine or beer. I was pouring out my soul to the Lord. Do not take your servant for a wicked woman. I have been praying here out of my great anguish and grief. Eli answered, go in peace and may the God of, of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. If you go down to verse 27, it says, I, I prayed for this child and the Lord has granted me what I asked of him. So now I give him to the Lord for his whole life. He will be given over to the Lord and there they worship the Lord. Um, and what God spoke to me out of this verse is there's a lot of times we ask God for things, gifts, uh, businesses, family members, all these things. And God is always faithful. Um, and just like in Hannah, she poured out her spirit for a son and that's all she wanted. And God gave her, gave her a son, but instead of holding on to that gift, she gave it back to God. And that son ended up becoming Samuel, who was a great, great prophet of God. Um, he ended up anointing David, which is very prophetic to the Messiah himself. Um, and I just, the encouraging word that I got from that was, don't hold on to your gifts, but submit them back to God so that he can do great things for his kingdom with it. Oh, man, dude, you just nailed it. That last sentence summed it all up to me is give it back to the Lord. It's not ours to carry. The burden of struggles maybe we're, we're dealing with, it's not for us to carry. It's for us to trust the Lord, give it to him, and believe things are going are gonna to be good in our life. And so, dude, that was a great word. Dude, you're stinking awesome, man. <laughs> Give me a high five on that one, no. man. That was a great word of encouragement, guys. And so, man, um, I, I just, give it to the Lord. I, I'm just, I'm just blown away. That, that this is such a timely word for me. So, thank you, thank you, brother. Um, you want to pray for these men? Amen. Father, I just uh, lift up these amazing men of God to you, Lord. I just pray over each one of them. I just pray that they be leaders in their home, Father that uh, they be just committed to you and your, their walk with you, Lord, that they be a light to your kingdom wherever they go, Father, that they take the gifts that you give them and they give them back to you, Father, that you could turn them into something great for your kingdom, Father, that they would change lives. Lord, I just pray peace over these men. I just pray confidence and boldness over them. And I just pray that you gift them with what they need for your kingdom, Father, and that they can submit it back to you. I pray all these things in your son, Jesus. Name. Amen. All right, guys, that was another incredible word for the men of victory. Man, I just, I love doing these videos because I love sharing my heart, but I love when you get to hear some amazing men in the church and them to share what they're going through and how to encourage you. So do me a favor this weekend when you're in the lobby, when you see Josh Van Duzer, give him a high five, give him a fist bump, tell him how awesome he is because you know what? 
you are awesome as well. But guys, men's conference is almost here. I am so pumped and excited for this. October 8th and 9th, guys. If you haven't registered, get registered. Don't even think about it. Don't ask your wife. Do don't it. ask your mom. Just sign up today. Be here. $30 at Victory Life Church. This is for all men, not just for Victory Life men. So guys, plug that, get there. It's going to be incredible. Tell tell these guys they need to be there. You have to be there. It's going to be life-changing, guys. And by every man you know. Yep. Incredible time. Trust me, sir. We've got some cool swag. We got some amazing things planned for you. I can't tell you everything because I'm just so excited right now for that. So guys, be at the men's conference and I'll see you week next week for your weekly word of encouragement from the men of victory.